Is it possible that artificial intelligence could lead to the extinction of humanity? AI systems possessing human-level intelligence have been identified as potential threats to society and humanity by extensive research and top experts in the field. The Asilomar AI principles, endorsed by many, emphasize that advanced AI could represent a significant turning point in human history, and therefore, must be strategically planned and managed with the utmost caution. Regrettably, such careful planning and management are lacking. Instead, we see a competitive race among tech giants who continually launch various AI tools without proper regulation or control. Recent months have witnessed AI companies becoming entangled in a reckless race to develop and deploy increasingly powerful digital minds that are beyond the comprehension, prediction, or control of even their creators. If the inventors themselves cannot control these AI systems, who can? The users or an external party? That seems highly unlikely. Max Tegmark, a renowned Swedish-American physicist, cosmologist, and machine learning researcher, recently warned that we have barely six months left to save humanity from AI. He cautions that the race to develop more advanced models is outstripping our capacity to regulate the technology. Although some critics deem his warnings as exaggerated, Tegmark argues that private companies risk leading the world into perilous territory without safeguards on their work. Even if his warnings are overstated, modern AI systems are becoming increasingly competitive with humans in general tasks and reasoning. We must question, should we allow machines to inundate our information channels with propaganda and falsehoods? Should we automate all jobs, even those that bring us happiness and fulfillment? Should we intentionally create non-human minds that could eventually outnumber, outwit, and replace us? Should we risk our civilization due to a lack of control? The responsibility of inventing or developing AI should not be given to just anyone. It should be entrusted to transparent, accountable tech leaders who possess the appropriate licensing. Ideally, powerful AI systems should only be developed when we have confidence that their impact will be positive and their risks manageable. This trust must be firmly established and proportionately increased based on the potential consequences of a system. OpenAI's recent statement on artificial general intelligence acknowledges that, at some point, it may be important to get an independent review before starting to train future systems, and compelling us to agree to limit the rate of growth of computers used for creating new models. We agree. OpenAI is not the only tech company in the spotlight. Over 5,000 tech and AI experts have signed a petition circulating on social media for weeks, urging the industry to implement a six-month moratorium on training artificial intelligence systems more powerful than OpenAI's GPT-4. The petition states, We call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. This pause should be public and verifiable and include all key actors. If such a pause cannot be enacted quickly, governments should step in and institute a moratorium. This pause may provide a critical window for saving humanity before AI technologies overwhelm and potentially destroy us. The objective is to buy enough time for regulatory policies to catch up with AI development. While a six-month pause may not be sufficient to gain full control over the situation, it could slow down the industry's rapid progress. Because, if left unchecked, there is a possibility that no humans will remain on the planet within a few decades. Governments must act swiftly to get ahead of this race. It is crucial to consider the implications of AI advancements in the next three years. AI development progresses at an exponential rate, which is often underestimated. Losing control now could lead to unpredictable and potentially disastrous consequences in the future. By 2029, people are hiding in shadows, desperately fighting against a robotic army controlled by Skynet, a supercomputer bent on destroying humanity. This apocalyptic scenario, portrayed in the science fiction film Terminator, arises from a revolt of artificial intelligence. Although the film's story may seem exaggerated, numerous experts, including Elon Musk and the late Professor Stephen Hawking, have warned about the existential threat AI poses to humanity. Even within the tech industry, concerns about AI misuse are growing. Facebook recently shut down an AI research project after the AI created its own machine-only language. Does this mean the grim future depicted in Terminator could become a reality? It may sound far-fetched, but this potential reality is closer than many people realize. By the time humanity takes the threat seriously and acts, it might be too late. The time to take action and protect humanity from this looming danger is now. AI labs and independent experts should use the proposed pause to collaboratively develop and implement safety protocols for advanced AI design and development. 
These protocols should be rigorously audited and overseen by independent external experts, ensuring that adhering systems are safe beyond a reasonable doubt. This doesn't mean completely halting AI development, but rather stepping back from the perilous race to create unpredictable black box models with unfathomable capabilities. Taking these steps can help mitigate the potential risks associated with AI and ensure that the technology is developed safely and responsibly, preventing any catastrophic consequences like those portrayed in the dystopian world of Terminator. AI research and development should be redirected towards improving society by aligning with objectives such as eradicating poverty or addressing climate change. The AI systems we need should be accurate, safe, interpretable, transparent, robust, aligned, trustworthy, and loyal. At the same time, AI developers and policymakers must work together to significantly accelerate the development of robust governance systems for AI. These should include oversight and monitoring systems with extensive computational capabilities, provenance and watermarking systems adept at distinguishing genuine content from fake, among others. If approached correctly and with proper planning, humanity can enjoy a prosperous future alongside AI, rather than rushing into a situation that could lead to the collapse of our civilization. However, Andrew Barat, vice president at Coal Fire, expressed a dissenting view in a recent interview. He acknowledged that, unfortunately, there is little that can be done to prevent people from pursuing financial gain and giving in to greed. Barat argued that any efforts to halt progress in the AI sphere may be futile, as it would be nearly impossible to coordinate such action globally. AI has the potential to drive productivity for future generations, and the real danger lies in its inevitable monetization by advertisers who will use AI to intelligently place their products within search results. Barat attributed the recent surge in fear to the increased attention given to ChatGPT. Rather than advocating for a pause, he suggested that people worldwide should explore how AI tools can best be utilized to enhance their productivity. Those who fail to do so risk being left behind. He maintained that a pause would not effectively mitigate existing AI threats. Instead, a more productive approach would involve promoting responsible AI development and usage, while also addressing potential risks and ensuring that AI systems align with human values and contribute to the betterment of society. Two Princeton University scientists, Sayash Kapoor and Arvind Narayanan, have argued that the letter calling for a pause in AI development focuses on speculative threats, while proposing no solutions to mitigate the risks arising from current AI technology. Although the letter's authors raise legitimate concerns, Kapoor and Narayanan pointed out, it's hard to put the genie back in the bottle at this point. There's too much at stake to be able to roll things back. It's also somewhat impractical, I think, to tell an entire industry to stop making money. This assessment, while blunt, holds some truth. Consider the cigarette industry as an example. After years of effort, the FDA and FTC eventually curb tobacco companies from enticing young people into a deadly habit. The 1997 Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement banned outdoor billboard and public transportation advertising of cigarettes. Further restrictions were implemented in 2010 through the Family Smoking Prevention and Tobacco Control Act, but what impact did these measures have? It took years for the federal government to crack down on the cigarette industry. Despite this, the number of cigarettes sold by the largest cigarette companies in the United States to wholesalers and retailers nationwide increased from $202.9 billion in 2019 to $203.7 billion in 2020, according to the most recent Federal Trade Commission cigarette report. Moreover, Statista reported that in 2021, revenues from tobacco tax in the United States amounted to 12.14 billion US dollars. As the late Illinois Republican Senator Everett Dirksen is often quoted, a billion here, a billion there, and pretty soon, you're talking real money. Indeed, it's challenging to control industries when significant financial interests are at play. The comparison to the tobacco industry highlights the difficulty in regulating an entire sector when profits are involved. It is crucial for stakeholders to address both the potential risks of AI and its current implications while carefully considering the practicality and effectiveness of proposed regulatory measures. Even if major tech companies like OpenAI, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google were to halt AI development, veteran tech investor Daniel Petri questions whether China or Russia would follow suit. He argues that pausing AI development in the US could allow China to surge ahead, necessitating that the US accelerate its efforts rather than pause. With significant AI advancements happening globally, a moratorium on US companies would likely have minimal impact. 
While there is excitement surrounding the progress in the field, it is crucial to recognize that every advancement comes at a cost. AI has the potential to disproportionately benefit higher economic classes, leaving the underprivileged at a disadvantage. Furthermore, as machines become increasingly capable of performing all human tasks, the perceived value of human life could diminish. In conclusion, while some experts argue for a pause in AI development to allow for the establishment of regulations and guidelines, others believe that the focus should be on fostering responsible development and harnessing AI's potential for positive societal impact. The future of AI will undoubtedly be shaped by the decisions made today, and it is crucial that all stakeholders work together to create a safer, more prosperous world for generations to come. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.